through this. Hallelujah. I want us all to lay our hands on this. Bring that oil that's anointed. <coughs> Praise God. You need to open it up, brother. Hallelujah. There you go. That was my fault. Couldn't hold it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. We're going to anoint these in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Both of them. Hallelujah. Let's anoint them. And let's just believe right Jesus. now. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Let's all just, if y'all can, stretch forth your hands. Amen to God. Father, right now, in Jesus' name, we pray with these. These pieces of cloth right now, Lord. We anoint these with oil in the name of Jesus God, right now. To your word, Lord. Lord, we know that the anointing will break the yoke of bondage, Lord. In Jesus' name, we believe, Lord God, these will be healed, Lord God. Oh God, destroy every yoke of bondage. That breaks their God. Yeah, the yoke of bondage off these individuals. Oh, that will bring healing to God. As it did unto the name of God when the apostles did. In the name of Jesus. Lord God, when they were placed on them, dear God. They received their healing. Oh God, they lived their victory, Lord. In Jesus' precious name. Yes, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Receive the glory, honor, and praise. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to put them in my pocket too. And amen to God. And I'm going to just pray that the anointing on me will rub off on them too. Hallelujah. Not that I'm any special than anybody else, but I believe, amen to God, we all have got the same anointing. Amen to God, which is Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. But, and I think we should get back to doing this more. Amen. I think we need to do that. I think we need to take cloths and pray over them. Put them on our bodies. Amen to God. Hallelujah. When we're done, praise God. Take them to those people in the hospital who are sick. Maybe pin it to their pillows, praise God. Put it somewhere. Maybe an unsaved loved one, amen to God. I remember reading an account about Brother Smith Wigglesworth. He was called to, hallelujah to God, hold a revival. And this dear family, they let him stay there back then in, in, in England, amen to God. When, when you would have the man of God there, you would give up your main bedroom for the man of God, amen. Amen. Oh. You would go to the guest room and let the man of God sleep in the master or the, the, the main bedroom, if you will. <clears throat> praise God. Well, this woman, amen to God, her husband was lost on his way to hell. She knew it. Come she on. knew it. And she said, Brother Wigglesworth, will you pray for my husband? Will you talk to my husband? Will you share with him the gospel? Hallelujah. He said, the whole week I'm here, praise God, when I'm sleeping in your bed, when I leave, don't wash the sheets. Come on. Now can you imagine that? Amen to God. You know when somebody sleeps in your bed, you wash those sheets. Come on now. Come on. Amen. Come on now. You don't want their cooties. You don't want their bugs. Amen. You don't want their dead skin on you. Amen. Come on. But he said, don't wash the sheets. And he says, watch what God does. So he left after the revival meeting. And she's like, well, I'm going to do what the man of God said. I recall another case in the, in the Word of God where a man of God told an individual to do something and they didn't starve to death. Amen? Come on. Come on now. Come on. They fed him with their last meal. Yeah. Praise God. And when they were obedient to what the man of God said, amen to God, God blessed them. They didn't start to death, amen to God. Instead, that barrel kept running over Hello. and over, praise God. When they went to scoop and get that meal, praise God, there was still more left, amen Hello. to God. They didn't have to worry. So when she did what Brother Wigglesworth said, it was, I believe, a week or two later, she said she woke up and her husband was at the foot of the bed Whoa. saying, I'm on fire. Uh -oh. Said, I f I'm on fire. Come on. Pour water on me. I feel the flames. I feel the flames of hell about yeah. me. He was feeling that, praise God, the convicting power Come of the on. Holy Ghost. Yeah. That anointing, amen to God. See, people may think that's crazy. Y'all may think it's crazy. Praise God when we take these rags and pray over them and then give them to somebody. But no, it's a tool, an instrument in the hand of God oh. that God will use it, amen to God. Hallelujah, because the anointing is tangible. Hallelujah oh. to God. It breaks every yoke of bondage. Amen. And His Word says it. So we need to get back to doing that. I guarantee you we would see, praise God, signs, wonders, and miracles happen again. But we've steered away from that. We've steered away from it. I don't know why. 
I guess because it ain't the modern way of thinking anymore. Yeah, amen. A guy told me today, when I was on my lunch hour, I was talking to a guy in the park. And he told me, he said, oh, Brother Mike, he said, I'll tell you. He said, have you heard of that great prophet around? I said, who? He said, Joel Osteen. I didn't even want to get into it, amen to God. I could tell the guy was young in the Lord. And I said, Lord, give me the, the right words to say because I don't want to hurt the man. Praise God. And I said, the only person we need to be uplifting is Jesus. Yeah. Not men. Amen. Amen. I said, the only person we need to be giving glory to is Jesus. Amen. I said, so start giving Jesus the glory and you'll see some great things happen. Come on. I said, don't praise Joel. Don't praise anybody else. I said, praise Jesus. And he said, you know, come to think of it, that's a good idea. Yeah. Praise God. I could have went the other way and said, Joel Osteen, hallelujah, is lost there like a ball in high weeds. But praise God, you got to watch sometimes. you got to be careful because sometimes you say things and people ain't as far off as you are in the Lord. They may get... It may, may do them more harm than good. Amen? Come on. Tonight, I'm not going to hold you long, but I want to give you something from the Word about the Word. Amen? Is that alright? Amen. Go to Isaiah 55. And I'm like, Brother Billy, I can't wait to get in the Word. You say you're preaching the Word. Yeah, I can't wait. I'm preaching to me too. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. You know... A lot of people judge things. A lot of people make quick judgments. But you know, if you judge things according to the Word of God, you would see, amen to God, if something is right or wrong. Amen? And when you use His Word to judge something, <coughs> praise God, you can never go wrong with it. Amen? So see, everything that any preacher preaches to you, and I'm going to say for me, <coughs> anything I'm sharing with you tonight or any other time, if it doesn't line up with the Word of God, His Word, then it's not right. Come on. If God gives me a Word that contradicts His Word, it's not of the Lord. Come on. Amen? That's the truth. If I speak in a tongue and give you the interpretation of it and it contradicts the Word of God, it's not of God. Yeah. It's of the Spirit. Amen? Come on. Not of the Holy Spirit, but of a deceiving spirit. Amen? Amen. Every word that any preacher preaches should line up. <coughs> line upon line. Precept oh. upon precept. Amen to God. It should line up with that word to the very T. Yeah. Every T crossed, every I dotted. Amen to God. It should line up perfectly. Oh. Because God won't contradict Himself. Amen? Amen. But nowadays, a lot of stuff you hear anymore contradicts the word. Come on. And let me go out. I'm going to go out on a limb and say this: it not so much contradicts, amen, to God. What we take as the word, which is the King James Version Bible, which to me is the only true living word that lines up with the original Greek and Hebrew, amen. Come on. The word amen. we should be reading from. But they take the modern day versions and they try to line it up with that. So no wonder everything is all just messed up. No wonder it's like a puzzle in a box when you shake it up. You don't know what goes where. Yeah. There's confusion, amen to God. Come on. But God's word will stand true through the test of time no matter what. Amen to God. Amen. Isaiah 55, beginning in verse 8, in the name of Jesus, and it says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Hallelujah. Amen. Now that can preach right there. Amen. Come on. Yeah. Go over to God. See, we give up when God says there's hope. Amen. We want to quit when God says, uh-uh, there's still more to go. Come Hallelujah. On. There's a finish line to be crossed, amen to God. We want to be the we want it to be over, and God says it's still going, amen to God. You've got victory in me, amen. He's saying. My thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways. Thank you, Jesus. Say it the Lord. My prayer every day is that I can, my life will line up to be with what He wants it to be. Amen to God. Come on. That everything Mike Kessler wants would completely die out and everything about me would be all about Him. Amen. 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 And that should be your prayer too. Amen. Amen. For as high, for as the heavens are higher than the earth, 
So are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth in bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. See how God's got it all covered? Come on. Praise Amen. God. Hallelujah. See, that's why I wish we could be like a bird and not worry about anything. Amen. They don't worry about nothing. They get up of a day and they're singing praises to God. Amen. They fly from tree to tree. They have a nest here, a nest there. God feeds them. Amen to God. They don't worry about nothing. Come on. They don't worry about putting on no clothes. God has already clothed them. Amen. Come on. I wish I'm going to preach a message one time when the Lord sees fit for me to do it on. We need to be like the birds. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. <clears throat> he takes care of us if we trust Him. Verse 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I send it. I said earlier, you've got a word over your life. Amen. I've got a word of your victory, a word of your deliverance. Did you hear what God said here? My word that go forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void. <laughs> But it shall accomplish that which I please. It shall prosper in the thing whereto I send it. See, we're going to send the word, praise God, over these cross, amen to God. Remember that, amen to God, that centurion that came to Jesus. And he said, Lord, I, amen to God, I have servants under me. I tell this one go and he goes. I tell this one come and he comes. Come on. Lord, I just want you to speak the word. Amen. And I believe that it will be done according as you say. Yeah. And Jesus spoke the word. Come on. And what it say in the, in the same self same hour? Yeah. His Amen. servant was healed. <coughs> I believe that tonight. Amen to God. Amen. I'm not talking about name it claim it kind of stuff. I'm not talking about I claim a thousand a million dollars. I'm talking about taking his word and applying it to our situations because it won't return void. Amen to God? I'm, all. I'm talking about real life here. I'm talking about families that are going through hell and high water. If you take the Word of God and you apply it to that situation, your unsaved children, amen to God, if you stand upon the Word for them, yes, it may be rough for a while, but praise God, His Word will not return to Him void, He said. Amen. He said in Joshua 24, 15, As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Uh -huh. I guarantee you, you pray that prayer over your family, over your children, praise God, if they're lost. <clears throat> and I guarantee you, the Word will not return void uh -huh. back unto you. All right. It's going to go what it say here. It shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I send it. I send, it yeah. send His Word, oh. amen to God. Come That's on. the title of my message tonight. Send His oh. Word, amen to God. Oh. If we send His Word to the situations, praise God, it's going to prosper. In that, he shall love my time. Thank you, Jesus, amen Come to God. On. Get that in your spirit tonight. Amen. Send His Word, Amen His to word. God, and it will not return void. Send it, praise God. You say, well, like, how do I do it? Speak His Word out, Come Amen on. to God. Praise God. You don't have to be some big fancy big name preacher, Amen to God. On. Speak His Word. Send it out, Amen to God, because it's going to return back. Not bad, not wrong, not done. Come praise on. God. It's going to return back, praise God. Hallelujah. It's going to return back victorious. Yeah. Oh, I amen. guarantee you, I, I'm trying to get out. Holy Ghost, help me to convey these words that's in my spirit. I feel like He's burnt this in my spirit Come because on. I'm telling you today, we step back and we make the Word of God the last thing we run to. We make the Word of God the very final thing we finally look at. If you make it the first thing, oh. amen to God, instead of running to the pill bottle, instead of running to the alcohol bottle, instead of running to somebody down the road, if you get down on your knees, open that Bible up and look at His Word, amen to God. There is a Word for every problem you're going through, praise God. Amen. And a Word that can straighten you out and give you victory. Come on. Amen. Praise God. Father, we come before you Lord. in Jesus' name. 
Thank you, Lord, for your word. That you sent your word, Lord. And you said it healed all our diseases. That you sent your word and set us free. That you sent your word and it will not return back unto you void, Lord. I thank you for the spoken word tonight. For the written word. For the living word that you are, Lord. Father, let this word take course in our life. Let us take this word tonight, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And let us run with it, Lord. Let us, Lord, believe Your Word. Lord God, forgive us where we've doubted Your Word. Forgive us where we've put other things first, Lord God. And help us, Lord, to run back to You and cling to that Word. Praise God. Come on. Lord, have Your way tonight. Lord, touch those here at VOTL. Touch those out there by the internet radio, by CD, by Facebook, by YouTube, by any avenue You choose. Touch them, Lord God. As you promised, your word will not return void. I pray, Lord, you would hide me behind the cross. Let me decrease as you increase tonight. Lord God, every word, every thought, every action done, let it be done for your glory, honor, and praise. For we ask it all in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. 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 Send the word. Amen. Yeah. Let me finish reading a couple of verses here. Verse 12 in Isaiah 55. For ye shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you in singing. And all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorn shall come up the fir tree. Instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle tree. And it shall be to the Lord for a name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. Come on. When you send the word, Amen. praise God, it's not going to come back to you void. Amen. And I tell you, you can remind God of His word. He wants you to remind Him of His word. Amen. Come on. We got to stand upon His word. What's that song say? On oh, Christ the solid rock I stand. Yeah. All of the ground is sinking sand. All of the ground. You said, what's that of the ground, Brother Mike? Anything that's not the Word of God. Come on. The dictionary is sinking sand. Yeah. Hallelujah. The Book of Mormon is sinking sand. Come on. The Quran Amen. is sinking sand. Amen to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. The religion and the doctrines are sinking sand. These are things that are sinking sand that you will fall down and you won't be able to get back up. But if you base your life on thus saith the Lord, hallelujah, send His Word, church, amen to God. Amen. It will come back, hallelujah, to the Lamb of God. You will see a mighty, a mighty, mighty move of God in your life. Come on. That's good. Amen. My Word that goeth forth out of my mouth, it shall not return me void. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. God's Word is important. You need to make it the, the most important thing of your life. It needs to be more important to you than the breath you breathe. Come on. Amen? Amen. If we praise God, if somebody put a pillow over our face and cut our air off, and then they took it off right before our last breath, what would we be doing? Come We'd on. be gasping, loving that breath. <clears throat> That's the way we need to be with the Word. Come on. Because the devil will come when you get the Word. When you get the Word tonight, he'll come to try to choke it out of you. Yeah. He'll come to try to send something to get you to say the Word ain't real. Come on. He'll, he'll send something your way to try to take that seed that's being planted in you and try to get it out. Yeah. That's why, praise God, you've got to value every word you hear. Praise God, you've got to take the Word that you hear that is of the Lord. Hallelujah to God. On. And you've got to apply it. But you've also got to check it too, amen to God. Not everything that comes out of, a, of what preachers, amen to God, these nowadays preachers, not everything that comes out is the Word, amen to God. Come on. That's why you've got to check it. You've got to know the Word, amen. If you don't know the Word, you can be deceived. The Bible says that Satan comes at times like an angel of the light. Yeah. He will transform himself because Satan knows the Word. What was he using against Jesus, amen, to God, during the 40 days of temptation? <clears throat> he was trying to take the Word, twist it. Come on. That's what Satan's doing today. The same trick he used. Yeah. Jesus showed us how we beat him. 
is with the Word. Amen? Come on. It's not with some modern day commentary, amen, to God. Amen. Now, don't get me wrong. Some, there's some good commentaries out there. I like some of the Jimmy Swagger commentaries, but Jimmy Swagger commentaries are not the Word of God. Come on. Amen. That's, a, that's an opinion of Brother Swagger <coughs> that he yeah. bases on the Word. And I don't mean no disrespect by that because I like them. I have a few of them. But they're not my final answer. Come on. The Word of God is from the King James Version Bible. Amen, Amen to God. Amen. The Word is. Hallelujah. I don't go to Brother Swagger or Brother Wigglesworth or, or this person or that, but I go to thus saith the Lord. Amen. Amen. God's Word cannot be denied. There's no other book written, <coughs> hallelujah, that can match up to it. Amen? Come on. It's infallible. It's unshakable. It's unchangeable. Amen. amen to God. Hallelujah to God. What was that guy? I can't remember off the top of my head, Brother Billy. The guy that tried to stop the Bible from being produced was his, uh, oh goodness. Balakar, I can't remember. Anyway, they tried to stop it. I'll remember it after we're done tonight. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It just goes to show you how our minds are. But thank God we lose our minds and let the Word get in there. Amen. Yeah. People over the years have tried to stop it. Hitler tried to burn it. Come on. How many Bibles did he burn? Amen. Many, 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 many. Come on. But look at it today. Yeah. Hallelujah. The Word Amen. still stands. Amen to God. Hallelujah. He sent His Word, amen, to God, and healed us of all of our diseases, amen, to God. He sent His Word, amen, to God, to make a change in your life, amen. Amen. Praise God. The Word is good. The Word is true. The Word is right, amen, Come to on. God. John 1.14 says, And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory. The glory is of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace oh, yeah. and truth. Glory to God. Glory to your name, Jesus. The Word must possess us, amen, to God. Come on. How many wants the Word to possess you tonight? Amen. Take hold of you. Change your, yeah. every fiber of your being, amen, to God. Amen. That's what we need because God's Word does have a purpose. It's powerful. It's fruitful, amen, to God. Come on. Did you know the Word can, amen, to God, be reproduced in the life of others when you plant it? Amen to God. You can plant a seed of God's Word water that seed, and it says God will give the increase. Amen? Come on. Yeah. It's never stagnant. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. It pushes through in the dry times and brings you into prosperity. Amen? Come on. Amen. Now, I'm, not, I'm not only talking about money. I'm talking about prospered in the Spirit. Amen? Amen. It's like an unsinkable ship. Glory to God. It survives on the roughest sea. Amen to God. Hallelujah. The Titanic sank. Yeah. They said that ship would never have sank. Yeah. They said God Himself couldn't sink it. Well, it's at the bottom of the ocean. Come on. Praise God. The Word of God is an unsinkable ship that will not be stopped by Come hell, on. by the devil, by yeah. anything. Hallelujah. I don't care what comes at it. The Come Word on. of God is like a train that's going to, like a fast locomotive. It's going to keep going and going like the Energizer Bunny. It won't stop. It's going to go, 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 go. go. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. That's the Word of God, amen? Amen. Never ending. Who? Glory to God. Get that in your spirit tonight. Come on. Unstoppable. Brother Mike, I've had a bad day. Get the Word, amen, to God. Come on. You want to have a bad day, turn it around and have a good day, amen, to God. Amen. Slap the devil in the face with the Word, amen. Woo! God, Hallelujah. Because His Word will not return void, amen? Amen. We send His Word, amen, to God, and it will come back. Yes. Woo! Go over to God. Hallelujah. Matthew 24, 35. Heaven and earth shall pass away. Come on. But my words, you hear yeah. that? Shall not pass I'll away. Pass away. Look at your neighbor and say, His words are not going to pass away. <coughs> mm -mm -mm. Go over to God. Hallelujah. Let me tell you how powerful the word is. Let me read this to you. We're almost done. There's a story of an unbeliever who wanted to see an 18th century evangelist by the name of George Whitefield. He wanted to see him preach, but he didn't want to listen to his words. Deliberately putting his fingers in both of his ears, this man, he watched a great preacher without listening to one word he said. God's got a way of getting our attention, amen? I'm all. Listen to this. But a stubborn fly landed on his nose. 
How many's ever had a fly land on you? You Come just on. gotta swipe it off. Yeah. It said a fly landed on his nose. No matter what he did, he couldn't shake him off. So he finally unplugged his ears long enough to shoo the fly away. And in those brief seconds, Come on. Brother Whitefield proclaimed loudly, To him that hath ears, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Come on. If you don't have Jesus, you're going to hell. Yeah. The amazing timing of it intrigued the man that he listened to the rest of Brother Whitefield's sermon and got saved. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Tell me the Word of God ain't powerful, amen. Tell me God won't send things, praise God. He'll send His Word. Come on. I believe He sent that little fly. Go land on that man's nose. Yeah. See, God will use anything to get you saved. Amen. God will use anything to get you healed. Come on. God will use anything to get you delivered, yeah. to get you back in His Word, amen to God. Come on. You say, Brother Mike, I heard Brother Billy Elder say that guy that emailed him saying we ought to be on our face thanking God for that. Yeah. Well, we thank God for all things. We don't thank God for, hallelujah to God, tragedy that comes upon our lives. But He uses these things at times for His glory. Come on. <clears throat> and I did not say God put sickness on you. I'm just simply saying God will allow situations to happen yeah. for testing. Yeah. See, praise God, sometimes we've got to wait on God. Amen? Amen. We can't be like He is if we don't go through something. If oh. God gives you a powerful word, don't you think hell's going to come against you? Yeah. I don't know why people think when God gives them a revelation that they're not going to go through something. <laughs> That's when you're going through something. I watched Amen. the DVD documentary on Dottie Rambo. And some of those songs, you, you've sung a bunch of them, Brother Billy. Yeah. Praise God. Too much to gain to lose. Yeah. They were talking about that one. And Dottie Rambo, they were doing different interview segments, you know, through the years. And she sat there and said on that one, she said, she was sitting in a room and the Lord gave her the words to that song. But he said, with these words, this song will bless many, yeah. many people. But you're going to go through many battles because of it. Yeah. There's going to be many <coughs> tests that you're going to go through. The devil is going to fight you physically, spiritually, emotionally, attack you in every way. But this song will bless millions. Amen. When God gives you a word, are you prepared to go through those tests? Come on. Because we pray, Lord, use us. Give us your word. Make your word alive to us. But we don't want the consequences. We don't want the, the, uh, the, the trials to come with it. Amen. Amen. Too much to gain to lose if that isn't love. Yeah. She said when she wrote that song, when the Lord gave her the words and she wrote it, she said friends around her start dying. Mm. She said it just brought her down. She says, and these people that she knew, they wasn't believers. And she prayed for them. Come on. And it tore her down. But the Lord showed her that through this song, through the attacks of the enemy, so many people were going to be born again. Amen. Hallelujah. I used my own life, my training to heaven five years ago. Come on. That doctor of mine at that time, she may have never given her life to Jesus. Yeah. If it hadn't been, now I'm not saying what I did was, was led to the Lord, no, because it was my foolishness. Come on. But God turned that tragedy into triumph. Yeah. Hallelujah. When I called out upon him, Brother Billy, that morning, yeah. when I spoke his word out, he was right there. He yeah. never left me. Amen. I was going to walk for Him. Come on. But amen to God, His Word is true because He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Come on, amen. God's Word is so true, amen. Glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah. It shall accomplish its purpose, amen to God, because it comes from a very, very reliable <coughs> speaker, and that's the Lord God. Amen. And His name is Jesus, amen. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says in Psalm 30, verse 5, His anger endureth but a moment, and His favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. That's a promise from God's Word. Amen? Amen. God wants you to know you may be going through something tonight. Sister Reese is going through this with her leg. Come on. Praise God. But I have no doubt that she's not going to be back in here rejoicing. Oh, 
dancing. Amen to God. I thank God, hallelujah, is going to bring something so miraculous and mighty through this. And even that man that emailed you, he's going to get a revelation that God is still a healer. Come on. And that praise God. We don't have to thank God for sickness, but we thank God that He is a healer. Come on. That He died on the cross and took our sins, sicknesses, and diseases to yeah. set us free from these things. It's not God's will that we walk in sickness, but we walk in health and healing. Come on. And we have life and have it more abundantly. Amen yeah. to God. That's why we've got the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. The great comforter. Amen. Nehemiah 8.10 Then he said unto them, Go your way, eat the fat, drink the sweet, send portions unto them for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy unto your Lord. Neither be ye sorry, for the joy of the, of the Lord is your strength. Come on. That's a promise from His Word. Amen. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Amen. Strength, yeah. So if we take all that, and I could go on and on about this. <coughs> John 14.27 Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Yeah. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, he sent His Word. Yeah. Let not your heart be troubled. Oh, Brother Mike, let not my heart be troubled. Come on. Brother Billy, let not your heart be troubled. Brother Tommy, let not your heart be troubled. To Come those on. out there, let not your heart be troubled. Amen. Neither let it be afraid. Let's stand to your feet tonight. Praise God. Mm. So my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. But it shall accomplish that which I please. And shall prosper in the thing whereto I send it. Hallelujah. Take his word tonight, church. Hallelujah. The word he's spoken over your life, amen. Come on. I feel the Holy Ghost right now just stirring amongst us. You say, why'd you get quiet for? Because I want the Word of God to speak. Lord, let Your Word speak tonight. Let our mouths be silent of our words from our thoughts, but let Your Word speak tonight. You've given us the promise it will not return back to You, Lord. Father, I believe tonight that every word spoken in here tonight has went forth with a purpose to each one of us here at Voice of the Lord, to each one of those watching and listening out there through the internet, through CDs, whatever. I believe it's an on-time word, Lord. I believe it's a word that's stopping somebody right now from committing suicide. Thank you, Jesus. I believe it's a word, hallelujah, that is bringing joy to somebody who's not had joy and peace. Lord, I believe it's a word that's going forth right now that's stopping verbal abuse, that's stopping physical abuse, that's stopping somebody from just another soul going to hell. Hallelujah. It's a life-changing Word, Lord. We thank You for that. We thank You that Your Word produces faith. You said that in Your Word, Lord. Faith comes by hearing. And hearing by the Word of God. That's your promise. Lord, if we have nothing else to thank you for tonight, we thank you for saving our wretched souls from the devil's hell. Amen. We thank you, Lord, for the roof over our heads. It may not be the best that we have, but it's what you've provided us, Lord. Amen. We thank you for the clothes in our body, the shoes in our feet. 
a vehicle if we have to drive, family if we have them, friends if we have them. We thank you for all that you've blessed us with because we are blessed, Lord, more than others. Thank you for the water we got to drink that's clean, Lord. Thank you that our sins are washed away by the blood. Thank You, Lord, that we're not living persecuted lives as some are, Lord, overseas. Forgive us, Lord, of not bearing our cross daily. You said if we follow You, we have to take up our cross daily, every day, and follow You. Forgive us in any way, Lord, that we've not lifted up Your name and loved You. Forgive us, Lord, if we've not taking Your Word and applied it the way we should. Forgive us of not thanking You. Thank You for sending Your Word. Lord, I speak Your Word over everybody here tonight as we depart. Get us to our natural home safely, Lord. I pray, Lord, that everybody in here tonight, everybody listening, Lord, will receive that peace that You promised from Your Word that we can lay down tonight and sleep peacefully. Oh, hallelujah. I thank You for the victory that we're going to hear the testimonies, Lord, that these prayer calls say men to God when they are given to the individuals. I thank You for the testimonies that's going to come about it. In Jesus' name, Amen.